Hi friends, today I am going to discuss a little bit about uh, gastrointestinal hormones which uh, con consist of gastrin, cholecystokinin, secretin, vasoactive intestinal peptide which is also called neuropeptide and somatostatin. Coming to gastrin, gastrin is uh, secreted from the G cells of antrum of stomach. It is secreted from the G cells from antrum of stomach, GG. The functions, the functions of this gastrin hormone is uh, to increase hydrochloric acid secretion or pepsinogen secretion and also to increase gastric motility, increase gastric motility and stimulates parietal cell maturation. These four are the functions of gastrin hormone. Increasing uh, hydrochloric acid secretion, increasing pepsinogen secretion and in increasing gastric motility and stimulating parietal cell maturation. These uh, four are the functions of gastrin. Coming to CCK, cholecystokinin. This is derived from I cells in upper small intestine. This hormone is derived from the I cells which are located in the upper small intestine that is duodenum. These functions are increasing pancreatic fluid secretion, constriction of gallbladder and relaxation of sphincter of body. Uh, this is the constriction of gallbladder, uh, relaxation of sphincter body, sphincter of body, and inducing satiety. Satiety is the feeling of fullness. The hormone which uh, helps in uh, feeling the fullness is uh, CCK, cholecystokinin. These are functions of uh, cholecystokinin. Uh, coming to secretin, this secretin is uh, derived from S cells in upper small intestine. This, uh, the function of this secretin hormone is uh, decreasing gastric acid secretion, decreasing gastric acid secretion and increasing bicarbonate secretion from pancreas and hepatic cells. Bi bicarbonate secretion will be increased uh, and um, increased uh, from pancreas and uh, hepatic cells. This has an effect of decreased secretion of gastric acid. Uh, coming to VIP, vasoactive intestinal peptide. This is also called neuropeptide. This is derived from neural cells, uh, which are located in small intestine and pancreas. Uh, this has an effect on, on acid secretion. That is, th this decreases the acid secretion and stimulates the secretion from pancreas and small intestine. Vasoactive intestinal peptide decreases acid secretion and stimulates secretion from pancreas and small intestine. This is the action of uh, vasoactive intestinal peptide. Coming to the last hormone which is somatostatin. Somatostatin is an antagonist of uh, gastrin. Somatostatin is an antagonist of gastrin. Uh, this is uh, derived from uh, the D cells in the pancreas and stomach. D cells in pancreas and stomach. It decreases all the secretion of all these uh, things. Acid secretion decreases, pepsin, pepsin secretion decreases, gastrin hormone secretion decreases, pancreatic enzyme secretion decreases. It also has an effect on glu insulin and glucagon. Uh, these hormones also, also decreases. Gastrin, insulin and glucagon are the hormones which are decreased by uh, somatostatin. Somatostatin is an antagonist for gastrin. Uh, the only thing uh, which is somatostatin increases is a uh, gastric mucus production. There will be an increased production of uh, mucus from the stomach cells uh, through this somatostatin. All these are the uh, gastrointestinal hormones uh, as I uh, explained earlier. Uh, please subscribe if you like the video. Thank you.